You click on the title of this video. You know why I'm here. Cut it out. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, no, not Fury. And I'm coming back to you today with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be touching some nerves. Okay, I'm not gonna be touching some nerves. It's, it's okay. I'm here for y'all. Remember that. I'm here for y'all. If this is your first time here, welcome here. We love all things makeup, all things beauty, and all things random related. This is also a no judgment zone, so feel free to click that subscribe button down below as well as the bell to let you know whenever I upload another video. If this isn't your first time here, you already know the deal, sis. Welcome back, big. Let's get into the video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about why you need to stop using Dr. Bronner's soap, specifically on your face. Please, please, please stop. Stop using it on your face. Stop using it as a body wash. Please. Just stop. I'm gonna tell you why and better reasons to use the soap for. Uh, what is Dr. Bronner's soap? Dr. Bronner's soap is basically an all organic soap, which is also a castile soap. If you don't know what a castile soap is, castile is castile soap is completely made up out of oils. It is the oil-based soap. So this specific one that I have here is the 18 in 1 hemp baby unscented pure castile soap looks like this this one contains water organic coconut oil potassium hydroxide organic palm kernel oil organic olive oil organic hemp oil organic jojoba oil citric acid and taco ferrol which is vitamin e so the dr bronner soap is a very very famous soap that's been going around for a very very long time it went viral like a year back or whatever specifically the peppermint one and i will get in onto that later in the video so because this soap is made up of all oils you would think that it would be really really good for your face and for your body and you think it would be very nourishing and moisturizing right absolutely wrong you need to stop thinking that way now okay stop it right now main reason why i want you guys to stop using this soap and on your face is specifically because you're using it wrong you're using it so wrong even on the instructions it says to dilute with water i've seen so many people say that they take this whole bottle with them in the shower and they just dump it on their wash rag or pour it in their hand and wash their face or wash their body no you're going to mess up the ph of your skin like that this soap is too harsh for that and i know people are like harsh made out of oil the way it is compounded you guys this soap will be too harsh for your skin alone you have to dilute it this is a very very strong soap this soap has a ph of seven and below which means basically normal to acidic um which is okay for the skin it's not terrible but the way the soap is compounded compounded is absolutely too harsh for your skin alone you absolutely need to mix it with water now if it's been working for you you know by all means keep using it i'm not here to tell you to you know i mean i am here to tell you to leave it alone but i mean it's up to you to listen so i used to use this soap a while back for my face when i had terrible acne going on when I had my real bad cystic acne, I would use the peppermint one. And I would use it without diluting it. And you guys, my skin would feel stripped. Stripped. Even in the shower, when I would use it in the shower, my skin would feel bone stripped. And a lot of people like it because of that tingly feeling that it gives you. And that's perfectly fine. But peppermint alone, peppermint oil, also dries your skin out. Do your research on that. You don't, you're supposed to dilute essential oils. Peppermint is an essential oil. I highly doubt that they diluted it when they put it in this because this is a cleaning agent. You can use it for like 10 different things. So dilute. A lot of people don't dilute. Now I'm going to give you guys basically like five things you can really use this for other than using it on your skin. And Dr. Bronner soap is amazing. I don't even want this video to be a negative one. Dr. Bronner soap is an amazing product other than on your skin. And I'm going to tell you guys why. 
Dr. Bronner's soap is an amazing brush cleanser. It gets your brushes so, so clean. And literally, all you need is just like a couple of dots. This is a very strong soap. The moment you put like two to three dots in a bucket of water, you'll have a full lather. It's it's insane. But it cleanses my it cleanses my makeup brushes really, really good. And it's really hard to get all the makeup like out the middle, but it gets them so clean and so soft it makes them really 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 good and it's not too harsh of a cleanser on my makeup brushes because i don't know if i have any makeup brushes that are made out of real hair but if i did then i mean it's not making them fall apart so there's that all right you guys i'm gonna be a little transparent with you there was a time when i was living with my mother and i didn't have detergent and i needed detergent and we had this in the house because I was a product junkie and this was the time when I was using this on my face. But I stopped and I had a whole bottle left pretty much. So I put it in my clothes. I washed my clothes with it and I was just like, you know, what's the worst it could do? Um, and it had my clothes clean, like squeaky clean. Like my clothes had no stains. Do you hear me? Nothing. No food, no nothing. Like... My clothes were super duper clean and I, it was the peppermint way and I don't think the peppermint smell lingered but I know it got my clothes super clean. It works as an amazing detergent and you only need like what four drops and this this can go a very long way like this whole bottle. This is a 32 ounce and this retails for like $12. You can get this whole bottle for $12. This could last you a year with the, well I don't want to reach. No. This sounds about right. Maybe like nine months as a detergent because you only need a couple drops. You really don't need that, need that much. People be reaching with how much they use. And then when they figure out later why their skin is drying out, they're not gonna understand why. Another really, really good thing to use Dr. Bronner's soap for, um, I tried this again with the peppermint one because like I said, I was going through some things and I just didn't have it. Um, I think, I was going through a phase where when I was natural and I only liked moisturizing shampoos and as a natural you and I both know that moisturizing shampoos don't deep cleanse your hair most of the time they give you like a light cleanse as it moisturizes but sometimes you get a clarifying shampoo and I needed a clarifying shampoo and I didn't have a clarifying shampoo so Dr. Bronner's I had the good old peppermint one Put a couple drops in my hand, made my hair really, really, really wet with water, and I lathered that bad boy. My hair was clean. And that's where the clarifying came into part because my hair wasn't soft afterwards at all. It kind of stripped my hair a bit, <laughs> but it's okay because that's what I was looking for. I was looking for something to deep clean my hair, and this deep cleaned my hair. So, you know, there was no issue with that. So, but if you have dry hair already, I would not recommend putting Dr. Bronner soap um, into your hair as your regular shampoo because it might make your hair drier. That's just my personal experience. By the way, I might keep saying that. This is just my personal advice, personal information that I'm giving to y'all. If you don't want to take it, by all means. <laughs> and then the last thing that I use Dr. Bronner's soap for, oh my gosh, so you guys know that I have two lovely cats, fluffy and skinny. Um, so if you are a pet owner, specifically cats, you know cats are super sensitive. You can't just have them around any type of chemicals. Um, I don't use this anymore by the way, but I'll get into that in a second. You can't have cats around certain types of chemicals. They can't just walk into stuff. Um, if they lick it off their paw, they can get sick. So, I was like, how am I going to cleanse my kitchen floors? Like, I have to I'm, I have to mop these kitchen floors. Like, there's no way I can just go without mopping. I can't just use a Swiffer. I have to mop these floors. Dr. Bronner's, specifically. This is the baby unscented one. It has no essential oils in it at all. It has no smell. But it has the same strength as all the other Dr. Bronner's soaps. So, what do I do? I have a mop and I put screaming hot water and I add about 10, eight, eight to 10 drops of this and it gets my floors squeaky clean. My floors be white, do you hear me? White. Now, I don't use this anymore. I found another organic 
um, cleanser that I like a little bit better and it does have a better it has a smell to it this didn't have a smell and I like when my kitchen has a nice fresh clean smell and this didn't have that so I you know put it to the side and I just use it for my makeup brushes now but this got my floors clean okay do you hear me so if you have pets and you're looking for a pet safe floor cleanser or even just a cleanser in general because you can put this in a spray bottle and use it to clean Dr. Bronner's Dr. Bronner's now just going off of the bottle you can use this for a lot of things but it even says on the side I'm gonna see if I can show you guys it says dilute dilute do y'all see that at the top right there dilute dilute so it says you can use this to wash your hands face or body I don't agree but if you use it by all means use it um, you can use it as shampoo you can use it to wash your dishes if you want to wash your dishes you can use it for laundry like I do it says it recommends to add vinegar into the rinse cycle that's interesting you can use it to mop your floor you can use it to wash your dog Hmm, I didn't know that. I mean, I don't have a dog, so I wouldn't know. But you can use this to wash your dog. You can use this to clean fruits and vegetables. Y'all, if you're using a soap to clean fruits and vegetables, why would you use this on your skin? Whatever. Anyway, um, you can use this as an all-purpose cleanser. All-purpose is like, you know, cleaning stovetops, countertops, stuff like that. You can use it to spray plants, and it says to add cayenne, oh, to kill bugs. Um, and then you can use it to shave. I don't think I would recommend this for shaving either, because when I shave, I like to have like a barrier, like a thick, creamy barrier between my skin and the razor. And then this is kind of thin, like it gives a lather, but it's not creamy, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, that's 10 ways to use Dr. Bronner soap, um, more than what I'm using it for, so I guess I'm going to try some different ways. Um, but yeah, you guys, please, for me, please reconsider using this on your skin. And if you do keep using it on your skin, please dilute it. Dilute it. If you guys can't tell, I did my nails, so I'm just super excited to. I love my nails. Tell me they ain't five. Tell me these ain't five. But um, yeah, please dilute your Dr. Bronner soap. If you love me and you love being part of the Fury fam, please dilute, dilute your Dr. Bronner stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really, really, really helps me out. And remember, you guys, stay furious. Bye.